I'm Devin, and I'm really excited to tell you about a project we've been working on for the last year, Alexandria. Decentralized peer-to-peer -peer library of art, history, and culture. Essentially, you can think of it as YouTube without servers, but it lets you share anything. 3D printable objects, feature films, music, books, PDFs, whatever you like. And it has a built-in payments layer that lets you do a lot of great things with it that YouTube could never allow. So let's go ahead and get started by showing you how we can publish media. Before I can do that, though, we need to go ahead and check our, our wallet to make sure that we have enough money to uh, uh, publish a new piece of media. So I'm going to log into my wallet here and check my Florin coin balance. Now, I'll, I'll, I'll come back in a second to, to explain why we're using Florin coin for this process. But as you can see, I have zero dollars. It cost me about a cent to publish something, so I need something here. So I'm going to use another cryptocurrency, Bitcoin, to purchase some Florin coin directly within the app here. We're trying to make it as easy as possible and as fast as possible. So all you have to do is click on that buy more button, gives you an address, you go into another wallet, eventually we'll also actually have it do the math so it tells you real quick how much of this coin to send in order to get $1, 50 cents, whatever you want to get. Um, but I already happen to know, so it's 0 0.0045 bitcoins, it's about a dollar right now. So I'll send that. Anyone that's kind of fast, notice we're not actually using bitcoin here, we're using another coin called JBS to stand in as bitcoin. Uh, primarily we're doing that because it's got exceptionally fast block times. Compared to Bitcoin, it's about 10, 10 times faster. Um, so as we can see, transaction has gone out. We're going to go back to our wallet and wait for it to show up. While we're doing that, I want to explain a little bit about why we chose to use Florin Coin within Alexandria and what exactly we're using it for. Um, as many of you know, there's a lot more than just Bitcoin out there. There's a lot of other coins. Some of which were just kind of called copycat coins. They just kind of had the same features as other ones, but just a different community or something like that. In some cases, however, coins have certain niche features that you can't find within Bitcoin or other large cryptocurrencies. Florin Coin is one of those. Florin Coin allows uh, users to send 528 bytes of comment information, text information, with every single transaction. And it's done in the coin itself rather than with kind of meta layers on top of it. So all of that information is actually stored uh, in the blockchain along with any other transaction information about it. Um, so Florin has about a 40 second transaction time. The stand-in for Bitcoin here that we're using, uh, uh, JBS has about a one minute block time. So in our testing, we found that we can have this process work in about two to three minutes or so. Once this is actually deployed to the public and we're using Bitcoin, except, expect for the, the buy more process to take 10 or 15. 10 minutes for the Bitcoin blockchain and then a minute or so for the Florin coin blockchain. But pretty soon here we should see some Florin show up. And basically the way that, that Florin um, cat, uh, figures out how, how much things cost. It's about a quarter of a florin to submit one of those transactions with 528 bytes in it. So the actual cost per transaction in the, in the florin coin uh, network is something about a hundredth of a penny or so. Um, in order to put a full uh, piece of media submission, it's a few transactions, so we charge a, a fee of about one cent. In this case, I'm buying a buck, so I, sh I should actually have plenty. So we should see that show up in a second here. So I've got my 99 cents. So I can go uh, back up to the uh, plus menu and go down to media, and I'm going to add a new piece of media. And this looks very similar. If you're used to submitting media through SoundCloud or through YouTube, you're going to see a lot of the same fields. Up at the top are some unique ones to Alexandria. The first is how we, we um, tell Alexandria that which publisher is actually creating this media. There's another process to create publisher accounts. We'll walk through that in another video. It's very simple. But it basically just ties a name with a foreign coin address so that it can receive tips and so that it can publish things uh, into the blockchain. Then we uh, put in the magnet, uh, the torrent magnet URI. Another name for that is the magnet link. This is a, a uh, BitTorrent hash that identifies where the file can be found within the BitTorrent uh, DHT, distributed hash table. And then we put in our Bitcoin address. In fact, that could be any altcoin. We'll let you decide what exactly that should be labeled as. Because basically we want to let publishers accept coin in whatever they'd like. If their particular community is interested in Doge or whatever else, they can take tips in Doge as well. Um, we did something kind of cool here where if you did publish this video previously to YouTube, you can put your YouTube ID in and it'll grab some of the content, some of the information from uh, YouTube to fill that in for you. But while they're filling in the rest of this, let me go ahead and explain uh, what the actual submission process involves. So, when we actually press submit on this, on this uh, content, what it's going to do is it's going to take that magnet link 
and it's going to take all of this descriptive meta information about it and submit it as plain text information in a few transactions, probably four to six transactions, into the Florin coin blockchain. As soon as that gets mined uh, by by a miner and propagated to the rest of the uh, Florin coin uh, wallets, Alexandria talks to that and it discovers new content being being added to the library. So we're about finished filling out the descriptive information. Um, last thing I want to make sure is to put in a, a poster frame file name. If, again, you do have this video up on um, YouTube, it'll pull the poster frame from that. If you don't, you can actually export a, uh, a PNG or a JPEG of a poster frame and put that in there. Now this page is all about the payments that I want to receive with this video. Obviously, I want to go ahead and receive tips. so. Uh, I can choose three suggested amounts. The user can uh, fill in their own amount if they so choose. And I'm also going to use a pay what you want wall. And basically what that is, is it's something that just blocks access to the content until someone sends some amount, whatever they choose to send. I can set a minimum if I choose. Um, in this case, it's a cap video, so I'm not going to worry about that. I'm going to go ahead and say that I'll accept it with zero if someone says, I want to send zero, thank you. Um, and I publish that. So. Um, Next up, it's going to ask you if you want to support Alexander Development with a tip. Uh, we'd appreciate it if you did. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and hit no and wait for the transaction to uh, have gotten sent. So that's been sent. I'm going to go ahead and introduce Ryan Taylor, our uh, front end dev and lover of cat videos, to explain the user's perspective. All right, I'm really excited to watch this cat video that Devin just published. So, first, we need to make sure that it's showing up in Alexandria. Once the transaction hits the blockchain, and now we can see it, we'll switch over to the browser user and uh, click on that right there. Loads up a piece of media with the pay what you want wall that he had set up. I can pay in Bitcoin or Florin coin. Uh, that suggests it costs two cents, that's fine. Go ahead and send that transaction, and once it happens, then the media will be embedded within Alexandria, and it'll start playing this video pretty quickly. So. <laughs> So there it goes. Now what just happened was Alexandria queried the local database that has all of the media submissions to the Florin, the Florin Point blockchain. Included in each submission is all of the metadata that Devin put together, along with a magnet link that points to the distributed hash table where the data is then downloaded into the streamer in Alexandria and we end up with the video. Now this is all working without trackers right now we're going to be implementing trackers to speed up the whole connection process as well as web trackers. So that's a good video. I like that. Uh, I want to leave a tip. So we'll come down here and go to tip. Uh, with Florin Point, I can leave a comment. I like that feature. I'd like to send Devin a comment. So we'll send him 10 cents along with a cute cat comment. And send the tip. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I want to send that flow. And just like that, it gets sent. All right, awesome. So switching back over to the publisher view here, um, we're going to go ahead and go down to the wallet so we can see that tip coming in. I'm going to have to log in to do so. Right now, it's just logging into my Florin coin wallet. Eventually, we're going to add it so that you can also see your Bitcoin balance and your Litecoin balance, and you can actually send transactions from those coins within Alexandria. Right now, I'll focus just on Florin coin. So you can see I have a starting balance of a buck 36. It's a pretty fast block time with Florin. So any tips sent using Florin will actually happen a lot faster. We should see in the next couple seconds here, I get that, that extra 10 cents. And there it is. So because he chose to use Florin coin, I know that he probably included a uh, comment in it. So I'm gonna switch over my Florin coin wallet and take a look at that. And as you can see, there it is, cute cat. Um, so the next step, we're going to actually add that so that within my Alexandria wallet, I can see all those comments that came along with tips. And then the next step after that is to put it into the media submission itself. So that anyone that looks at my cute cat video can see all of the comments that other people have made, very similar to how YouTube works. So to summarize, we just went through how to buy some Florin coin in order to be a publisher, how to publish media, uh, browsing the, the, uh, the Alexandria library, discovering some media, playing it back, going through a paywall with Bitcoin, and then going through sending a comment with a tip with Florin coin. All of this, what you just saw here, we intend to launch in about six weeks to our private beta. Um, if you're interested in checking it out yourself, you can go to blocktech.com and sign up for our private beta list. 
About six weeks after that, we plan to launch our public beta and open source the code on GitHub. Um, furthermore, we have a pretty extensive development plan for the next year, getting us from where we are to what we consider to be a feature complete 1.0 version of Alexandria. So I'm happy to announce that we're starting a crowdfunding campaign today. So if you believe, like we do, that more than ever before, the world needs a decentralized peer-to-peer -peer library for art, history, and culture that cannot be censored and cannot be destroyed, you can help us make it a reality by sending a donation today at blocktech.com. Thank you so much.